Hi everyone, it's Georgie here from Her Hair My Head. Um, I have come on today to just very briefly talk about this wig. Um, so this is a synthetic wig and it's from a brand called Aladi and you can buy their pieces on Amazon. Um, and this is what I would consider a cheap and cheerful wig. So I paid, um, I think it's $35. Uh, I couldn't seem to get it through the UK Amazon site. I got it through uh, the American site. Now, I keep running my fingers through it because it is shedding a bit. Uh, I say shedding a bit. It is shedding quite a lot. Um, and there's like a massive pile of hair now. Um, so I've said before in uh, my videos and my posts that you get what you pay for. Now there's a huge craze at the moment for people sharing pictures of these hair cube wigs which are a similar kind of price point, maybe slightly lower, so maybe like around £20. And showing all these photos of these wigs that, and making them look absolutely beautiful. I love cheap wigs, but if you're going to spend 20 or 30 quid on a wig, you have to be prepared for the fact that it's not going to be perfect. So I like um, cheap wigs that have a fringe, although this fringe is a little bit too long for me. So I do just need to take not much, maybe like half a centimetre off the fringe. Um, so I'm going to give you the pros and cons of this wig. It's a very basic cap, which I will show you in a minute. And it's a very, for the price, it's an okay hairline. But if you look up close, it's basically a plastic hairline. Um, so I don't know if you could actually see that. The fringe helps, I think. And the thing that I like about this wig is that it's quite matte. So what gives synthetics away as being fake is shine. So if you have a shiny synthetic, it's quite obvious that it's plastic. But what's nice about this, it's it's ombre, so it's got a darker root and then going into a lighter brown. Um, it's not shiny. And the fibres, I mean, I haven't washed it or worn it very much, but the fibres are very soft um, and they look, they haven't tangled too much. As I said, there's a fair bit of shedding, but that's quite normal for cheaper wigs. Um, and then the other thing that I would say about these type of wigs, and I've bought two hair cube wigs um, out of curiosity, and they've had a similar problem, is that if you wanted to wear the hair back, you can see the cap. It's not the most realistic, and it's a very basic cap, but it's comfortable, and I like how this hair sits. So let's just take this off. So um, it's got ear tabs, but as you can see, if you pull the hair back at all, you can see the cap. Whereas if you were to buy a more expensive wig, you would be able to pull the hair back off your face and you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, this is the parting, which is this kind of um, plasticky white parting, which with a fringe, actually, you can't really see it unless you look up close and then you can see that it looks a bit fake. Um, and you can change the parting. So you've got this area here where you could change the parting and then it's a very basic wefted cap, um, machine wefted. But for, $35 which I don't know the exact exchange rate but it's probably between 25 and 30 UK pounds I was really impressed with the quality it is shedding a lot as I was saying um, cheaper wigs like this one do shed a lot um, so that's one of the negatives um, so the main positive for me is the price if you want to try a wig and you don't have a huge budget you can get a nice wig for fairly cheap. It might not last you that long and it might get um, a bit more tangled or a bit more matted more easily and it is going to shed a lot. The only other thing is it is quite a low, I say low density, in places if the hair moved you would see the wefts. 
um, but again that is fairly standard for a cheaper wig. The other thing I wanted to add about the price is what makes this really good value is not only do you get this wig, you also get uh, included in the box with the wig, you get a collapsible plastic wig stand, a wig cap, um, a hairbrush and a little hairband. Uh, and I really like that little package because if it's your first wig, you've already got a stand ready to go, the hairbrush is useful and the hairband is cute. So um, one of the ma major pros is what you get for your money. Um, and as I said before, the fibres are quite realistic looking um, and I think it's quite a pretty wig for the price. But the cons are the parting is not that realistic. You can't really have the hair back off your face. Uh, the shedding, which means it will thin out quite a bit, um, but some, that bothers some people more than others. If the wind blew and someone saw a tiny bit of weft, that wouldn't hugely matter to me. Um, I mean, as I said, I haven't washed this piece yet. I haven't worn it for an extended period of time, so I can't say how long it's going to last. But for such a low price, that doesn't hugely bother me. Um, I'll put all the details uh, in the comment section below. Um, but overall, I'm I'm happy. I wouldn't necessarily wear this wig every day. Um, but I think for you, I mean, if you pay 20 or 30 quid for a wig, you can get some really awful pieces. And I think for that budget, this is a good piece. I'm not saying it's the best wig since sliced bread, and I personally think if you spend a couple of hundred quid, between 100 and 200, you can get a really nice, good quality synthetic that looks a lot more realistic. But for a low budget, or if you just wanted to try a different colour, a different style, then this wig is a really good um, one to go for. I hope that's been useful. If there's anything I haven't covered that you're not sure about, uh, send me a DM and I'll get back to you. Thank you.